I think what's so special about the piece, I mean, it's something just very, very simple. This idea of this promenade theme which links a number of the movements. You could say, in a way, it's a very crude idea, but it provides this um, way of drawing the whole thing together in a way that groups of character pieces often don't have. You know what I mean? Schumann and like uh, Kindred Sein and there is a sense of unity in some mind with this, uh, the Dichter Sprich, whatever it is, the last one, the sort of somehow summing up of what's come before. But what Mussorgsky does is a different kind of order of like some kind of motivic unity that you have in a loose sense. And particularly what happens with the bells in the Great Gate. I mean, it's just a simple and absolutely masterly stroke. I mean, almost in the way that Beethoven some of the kind of masterly strokes are incredibly obvious and simple and yet incredibly satisfying. I mean, I love Ravel's music, but to me the orchestration misses the point of the music and makes it too pretty. And I mean, some people have complained that it's written kind of ugly for the piano and sort of rather thick textures and not very grateful for the piano. But for me, that's so much part of the character of it. Do you just sort of somehow enjoy this? <laughs> I don't know. It just it, it's very satisfying to play if you just go with it.